put himself through the mill over the years to test things, so we don't have to, frankly. Fair play. He's been infected with tapeworms, taken hallucinogenic drugs, and even been frozen to within an inch of his life. Tonight, he's going to get shot. The riots of August 2011 are estimated to have cost the nation over £200 million. In such a chaotic environment, it is very difficult for police to bring wrongdoers to justice. Keeping track of real criminals during a riot can be fantastically hard. They cover their faces and merge into the crowd. A new bit of technology, however, means that perhaps they could be identified days, even weeks later. Someone who knows how hard it is to identify people in these situations is Nick Roach, who was an officer in the Metropolitan Police for 30 years. Presumably there are lots of cameras around, so why can't you just rely on those? Because people who are out to cause trouble will deliberately mask up or put something over their face to, to stop them being identified. Is it difficult to get a prosecution? If you can't prove they were there, it's just a complete non-starter. Getting hard proof is often impossible. But a British technology company has come up in a way of tagging people at the scene of a crime. It involves being shot by a capsule that contains an invisible dye. Ah! Oh, blimey. Look that. Woo! This prototype is based on a paintball gun. Like a paintball, the capsule burst on my shoulder. But instead of paint, it's released a clear liquid which not only coats my clothes, but seeps through right down to the skin. Quite how safe the gun is remains to be seen. I was expecting something, but I wasn't expecting it to hurt quite that much. It certainly stung, yeah. Although invisible, this liquid has stained my clothes and shoulder and will remain after several washes. As long as they hit the right target, suspects can be linked to a crime long after they've fled the scene. Now, the capsule I've just been hit by looks as though it just contains water. But in fact, it contains millions of uniquely coded DNA molecules. The DNA is specially synthesized in coded sequences which can act as molecular barcodes. Police could use them to mark suspects during a riot. Nick Roach now works for the company involved. And you've got one of the sort of guns here, which I was hit by. What's the range of this? About 30 to 35 metres. It's been deliberately made orange. You don't want people to believe for any reason that that is a real gun. Although not currently in use, the guns and coded pellets could be registered to specially trained police officers at a riot. The theory is anyone found tagged with a particular DNA code could be linked back to that event. How many DNA molecules do you need? There are millions of DNA molecules in each pellet, and we'd only need 100 swabs from somebody to identify them and put them at a particular scene. So I'm well and truly barcoded? Absolutely. A video camera fitted to the gun captures the moment the gun is fired to help ensure the right suspect has been tagged. Assuming you've tagged the right target, how would you find them once a riot's dispersed? So I've been hit by the capsule. I have so far evaded capture. Got a jacket on to disguise myself. Is there any way to pick me out? Although there's no visible trace of the stain, it can be sniffed out by specially trained dogs. <laughs> I'm Nick. Yeah. Smart dog. <laughs> the liquid is visible in UV light, so a quick check with a torch confirms I've been tagged and shows the police where the DNA will be. A sample would then be sent to a lab for sequencing. Once the code is retrieved, it can be matched to the video evidence from the gun. Now, any new technology like this is bound to be controversial, and it is still very early days. But if this technology proves to be as safe and effective as its inventors hope, then it will make it harder for criminal rioters to evade justice. Ah, oh, fair play to Michael, but I think it hurts more than he let on. I think he did OK, then. He's a brave yeah, he soldier. Did. He does. 